Hey guys, welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. Welcome back for another unbox. This time around, we're going to be doing some Star Wars unboxings. Now, I picked these up recently at uh, local Walmart. The Star Wars Archive Collection. This is an uh, archive collection. That's this, is, this is part of the Black Series, as the label says right there, guys. Now... This so this is a I guess this is a limited collection I could be wrong, but this is basically celebrating 50 years of Lucasfilm itself all the way back to 71, to 81, 91, 2001, and 2011, and of course 2021. Gives you the entire timeline of the series, what it covers. Of course, this encompasses Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Jedi. Of course, we have Star Wars Legacy or Legends, as they call it. Clone Wars, uh, Star Wars Rebels, Rogue One, Solo, and of course all the movies contained therein. Let's see if we can get a nice little close-up right there. So that shows us everything Lucasfilm related as far as that. Now I picked these two up. These were roughly for going for about $17, $18 at Target. These were right off the pegs right there, right here. So what I did was I picked up Imperial Hover Tank Driver. And... Uh, Shore Trooper. Now, interesting story with the Shore Trooper. I was debating whether or not to... Should I grab him or should I grab him? I actually grabbed him. I turned around. I put him back on the shelf. Walking around the store. And I was like, well, I'm thinking about it, Like, you know, maybe I'll come across him again. Maybe I'll come across him again. Well, lo and behold, uh, I get towards the front of Walmart. About to check out. Meeting up with my wife. And she comes with a bunch of figures in her hand one of them i already had actually two of them i already had and she says oh what about this one <laughs> it was this so it was a short trooper so i took that as a sign from the cosmic toy gods out there and i said you know what yeah i'll i'll he's coming home with us so i had him in hand i was thinking about it. i was like uh, i'll maybe i'll pass on him and you know pick him up at a later date but my wife had him in her hand, so I'm like, eh, that's 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 cosmic. That's no, I, I can't against go against that. That's the toy god saying, Yes, take him home. He belongs. So we grabbed Shore Trooper. And I've actually had Imperial Hover Tank uh driver sitting on the shelf back here for uh maybe uh, about two weeks. Uh one, I've always been the good guy kind of kind of person. I always like to have the heroes the villains, not so much, but uh, just the detail that they have on, I mean, just, you can see the detail right on there without even taking it out. They just look really badass. And these are some of the figures that you have seen featured in either Solo or Rogue One. Which, honestly, both movies are good. Rogue One, I like it a little bit better than Solo, I'll be honest. Solo, I love because, well, it's the story. It's the story of Han and everything. Um, I was, personally, I was never a big fan of the actor who played Han Solo. <clears throat> Nothing against him. Just the way he was kind of talking, the way he talked at times, it sounded like a mashup of Harrison, trying too hard to be a Harrison Ford type and an Owen Wilson at the same time. It just, it sounded terrible. Um, that was one of my main gripes. All the, Everyone else in the movie I thought was fantastic. I mean, uh, oh god, I'm blanking on his name, but the actor who played uh, young young Lando, uh, he's been featured in so many different things. He's an awesome actor. He killed it as Lando. He was perfect. <clears throat> I love that they had Woody Harrelson in there. He was awesome. Well, uh, honestly, one of my favorite scenes is you see him dis disassembling his rifle. And it basically breaks it down to the hand blaster that he hands to Han. And I thought that was one of the most awesome yet most simplified scenes ever. So I really love that. Uh, so we're going to open these guys up. Now this one is the Shore Trooper. Now obviously this, you know, they give it a nice weathered look. I mean this looks like you've been a trooper who have been stationed. Along beaches, shorelines. I mean, he has that look about him, you know. 
that he's not some brand new trooper that he's been been in the trenches for a long time and they definitely gave that look to uh the hover tank driver too not so much i mean this is more of a sand color and this is more just worn kind of off white and i love that i love that kind of weather look everything everything does not have to be perfectly clean and crystal clear and i love that so and yes it says archive that's what it says right there on the side there archive and this is just an offshoot of the black series so we're gonna get into a shore trooper first now i will be honest um if you see these at a walmart or target you guys want to jump on them why because or well, one honestly uh a lot of stores have not been staying on top of their shippings or their uh street dates or they're putting stuff out and then you can't buy it because when you go to the register it says that has a street date of this date far off so either they are uh, putting them out or they're just putting them out not at all or you're getting some of the scalpers who go super early in the morning and they try and get their hands on the products or it's a uh, you know or it's a case of you know, maybe the employees are buying them as soon as they're put out and, you know, who knows, whatever. I mean, I don't want to be a negative person like that, but a lot of times, uh, especially up here in the Northeast, we're hitting stores going out casually. Because, I mean, I work Monday through Friday, 9 to 530. The only time I have is either after work or on the weekends. Like most families, most people out there. And, you know, I'm not looking to buy five or ten of a figure. I just want to get one of the figure, hopefully. And a lot of times you get out there and they're already gone. I've even seen videos of other YouTubers who in different parts of the country, people, uh, some targets, they don't have the shelves bolted to the bottom and people are lifting up those shelves and they're using it as a hiding place. Uh, one YouTuber uh, has even covered this in a few of his videos. You know, what he'll do is he'll lift that bottom shelf and find a whole stash of various items, not just Star Wars, but like maybe Lego, maybe, you know, preschool, all this different stuff. And he'll pull it out of there and kind of put it back on the other shelves. A lot of YouTubers have been doing that, you know, because one, it's not fair that people are using, uh, using those spots as hiding places. I mean, if it's on the shelves, then, you know, go for it. If you don't have the means, you don't have the means, you know, that's understandable. But don't try and hide it from, like, maybe someone's little little child. And the person I'm talking about, he has a family. You know, he takes his family with him on his on his videos. And I really I really applaud what he does because, you know, you get, you get some people that are just, they're just shady. And no, just, just, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but that just, it's it rubs people the wrong way. It gives a lot of negative attention, especially if there are scalpers or people who do that, that kind of makes us who are you know the toy reviewers those of us who want to go to the store we're using our own money to buy it we're not buying five or ten we're buying like one of an item because we want to add it to our collection or we want to take it home we want to do an unboxing show you guys well we can't do that when there's scalpers who are buying five or ten of them and then throwing a maybe a 20 30 40 even 50 percent markup uh you know i understand people are trying to make money any way they can but there's there's a good way and there's there's also a bad way so enough i'm off my rant i'm sorry guys so here we are shore trooper that's uh a nice little look at him right there i like the detail especially on the back of the helmet here got his little back right there now, of course, there is no actual head underneath here. I'm sure you can pop the helmet off, but we're not going to try that because I don't want to break the neck. Um, this is not meant to have an alternate head. We can see right there. There is no head underneath. It's just the peg that holds the head on. Uh, kind of nice little paint bands right there, probably representing the division he's a part of. And, of course, we have this uh, red band. It looks like a rank right here. I could be mistaken. But I love the detail. I mean, this is not your typical uh, black and white uh, trooper. Got that sand color. We got brown on here. This is definitely more 
God, I love the paint on here, guys. The paint on here is just nuts. I mean, it's so insanely perfect. I mean, it's like they said, hey, we're going to release these figures, but let's give it our own wash first. And I mean, just everywhere is... Everything on here is insanely done well. You know? I mean, just look at that right there. I mean... I mean, you would expect something like this. Okay, you get the brand shiny new Stormtrooper. And then you have, you know, a customizer uh, doing their own little paints and washes. Uh, a few a few YouTubers come to mind, like uh, Ladron Customs. And a few others that, I mean, they just do so much tremendous work on customizing their figures. And this is one of those, uh, this is a Star Wars figure where you really don't have to do anything now. I mean, this is just... Um, I mean, this is just bananas. It's so awesomely done. And I'm glad I got this because I was at a uh, comic book uh, toy shop that was trying to sell this. Sell this very same figure uh, for, <laughs> for about $30. I know uh, some shops, you know, they have to go buy the items themselves and then uh, they're trying to, uh, you know, Trying to do something where they can uh, maybe mark it up a little bit. You know, they're trying to make their monies as much as they possibly can. Okay, now, what was interesting was, I just bought some new uh, pegs. And these are the ones that are meant for the Star Wars uh, figures. On this guy, it felt a little loose on his foot. So, I'm actually using a NECA stand. This is a stand that's meant for the NECA figures. Seems to hold onto his foot a little, little bit... Uh, it's a little high right there, but if I try and put one of these pegs on, as you can see, it doesn't stay on there pretty well. I mean, it comes, it pops in and out very quickly. Even on this side, it's not that well. So I've noticed that a couple times on a few figures. So maybe I'll just stick with, uh, I have a bunch of these extra neck to stand. So for this particular one, I'm going to use a neck to stand on him. Pardon me for a second, guys. I'm sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. My uh, phone was not on silent and the notifications were going bananas. Now, also, they did a pretty good job on weathering and paints on uh, even the blaster here. You got a nice little worn. Uh, I mean, this is your basic blaster, but they did some uh, the paint on here. That This is right out of the package. I mean, they did a pretty, uh, pretty awesome job, even on the underside of the clip there. As you guys can see, this is uh, pretty awesome. So, I mean, they're definitely stepping up their game here. And here we have Short Trooper with his uh, blaster. Now, Short Trooper by himself, scale 1 to 10, he's definitely a 9. 9 and a half. 9 to a 9 and a half. I mean, the paint on here is just... It's perfect. I mean, if you've bought a Black Series figure, it has all the same joints that you expect to. You get the leg rotation on the upper upper thigh here, upper calf. You got your basic feet movements like you have on all the Black Series. This is not a brand new, uh, no brand new joints. Got torso. I mean, it's got everything you would normally expect on your basic Black Series figure. Uh, different sculpt because of obviously the armor. Can the armor come off? I believe it can. Uh, I am not going to mess with that because I do not do the uh, custom game. That's not me, guys. I leave that to the professionals. I have heard of a few Anthony Customs. I know Ladron Customs. He's he's an up up and coming you Ladron up customs you definitely want to check him out he's an up and coming youtuber in fact i'm going to leave my link for him in the description below so you guys can check him out he does a lot of different things a lot of different figures he's into star wars he's into wrestling he's all over the place you definitely want to check this young man out and as always i've been adding whenever i do the videos now in the description below i'm adding what i call my youtube warriors for that for that video five random youtube warriors youtubers that i follow who I think you guys should also follow as well. Okay? 
So definitely check out the description below for my five YouTubers for this video, okay? There's literally hundreds of them and I'm trying to get the word out to help, help their channels grow as well, okay? But there we are. He is phenomenal. You definitely want to hop on him. Now, let's move on to the next one. This is the hover tank driver. Okay. Imperial hover tank driver. There we go. Again, this is part of that archive collection. Now, he just comes with the blaster. We'll check out the blaster itself, itself as well. Let me switch views. You guys know I am an auto box collector, so I'm not trying to save the card here. I know that that scares a lot of people. A little tip: you always want to cut away from yourself, not towards yourself. That's where accidents happen, guys. Now, of course, on the inside, you just get your legal documents and papers. You don't need that. Put your card to the side. Let's check out his blaster. Uh, his blaster has... Uh, uh, trying to see if there's any notice paint on here. Not really. This is definitely more of a clean blaster right there. Looks like a little color. But uh, nothing compared to the other one. I definitely got to get a newer camera for the... Uh, overview the overview is my original camera and this one right here is my uh, c922 logic camera for the most part does a pretty pretty great job so uh here we are you can kind of see uh, on the overview camera it does show that there is some weathering detail on here let's go to back to the c922 you guys can see a lot of weathering detail on this one as well and I like that there's contrast from the, uh, you know, his lower torso to the armor that's up here. You know. Some people might not like that. They say, oh, it looks like it, it's different pieces. Well, it is. But, I mean, as far as the wash and the weathering on here, I think it adds a little bit of contrast to it. Like, almost as if, well, the top part has probably been swapped out a couple times. It's, you know. So I kind of like that little uh, little difference there. But the details on here are just insane. Love the helmet. Like all the dirt that's kind of along the breathing vents right here. Because there's like three little ports right there. And that's where a lot of the dust and dirt is. Almost as if like, you know, when he's breathing, it also filtered out a lot of dust. Or maybe there was a storm or whatever. Sandstorm of some kind. You know, he's bring the vents in his mask are pushing it out. And that dirt is kind of, because that air is shooting out, you get all that dirt kind of building up right there. So, I mean, they did some pretty good details on here, guys. Uh, again, the boots here. Um, I would have liked the bottom of the boot here to have that same kind of uh, color like this. But I get that these are more like... Uh, like a shin armor plating that wraps around the boots potentially. It's just these look way too white. They look way too clean. Almost like Pee Wee Herman boots. Pee Wee Herman shoes. Doing a little tequila dance. Uh, again, you get the same kind of armor that you do on the uh, Shore Trooper. Different color though. Different helmets. But... Uh, for the most part, I mean, a lot of the same. A lot of the same right there. I mean, with this, with the uh, short trooper, he's got the black boots, so that's covered up. Um, something like that. I mean, they could have done something like that with these, but I mean, they just look like somebody's, uh, like, white dress shoes. That's what they kind of come off as. Uh, that's the only gripe I have, really, about him. Um, the sculpt on here is good. Good, solid. Uh, let's take a let's get him with his uh, blaster. And I do love how they include the trigger finger on here, so we can actually get the trigger finger on the blaster if we want. You know, I 
You know what would have been cool? If we could have had like a little grenade or something that we can put in it in uh, the other hand. So like he's about to throw something or maybe he's communicating with someone. A little, little, little handgun or something. You know. But, you know, it's still an awesome figure. I love this. Let's let's see if this fits on him. Unfortunately not. So this is not fitting. So I'm going to have to use another NECA stand. Just so happens I got a whole bunch of these. And yes, he fits better on, on that than he does on... The uh, three and a half, the three point seven five uh, figs, but I've used these for my Hasbro Power Rangers, Hasbro Plasma Series Ghostbuster figures, and other Star Wars figures. So I think it just has to do with some of the molds or some of the cuts on some of these. But there we are. It's nice and stable, wiggly wobbly. We get a little wag, but he's still on there. It is not coming off, guys. So there we are, scale 1 to 10. Um, if it wasn't for those damn boots at the bottom looking all nice and shiny and white, like you just bought them from Payless or something, <laughs> I'd say this, if it wasn't for that, I'd say 9 to a 9.5. Um, I gotta mark them down to 8.5. 8 to an 8.5, I gotta mark them down for those uh, boots. Everything else I love. Even with the color difference here, I would still have to say 8 to an 8.5 because of those uh, damn boots at the bottom. Um, but if you're a customizer and you can do a nice wash that would complement this or maybe even a tan uh, kind of a off-white paint to hit the boots then i think that would work great for uh for your purposes but uh i really love this man i these troopers are looking phenomenal and i have more to come <laughs> i have some more un unboxings to do but these guys i mean i really love these I mean, they, they're not, they don't have really loose joints. I mean, you can definitely do some posing on here. Let's see if we can get a kneeling action going on. How well does he kneel? Do you bleed? So we got him kneeling. Let's see if we can get the uh, other trooper. Oops. There we go. We got some, uh, we got some kneeling action going on here, guys. So we do have posability on these guys pretty well. Just kind of playing around with the posing. I suck at posing, by the way. So the fact that I can get these guys to pose like they are right now is kind of amazing in itself guys there we go pretty amazing so just to recap shore trooper uh definitely nine to a nine and a half imperial hover tank about eight to an eight and a half but they're definitely they're definitely good finds guys if you can see them if you see them on your pegs it's your shelves it's your local walmart target or anywhere you buy your action figures from scoop them up if you can guys because they're going to be going up they're going to be going up that's a guarantee for you so thank you guys for checking out the video i hope you liked the video if you did give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down if you got some criticisms some questions some some concerns hit me up in the comment section below or, as always, you can email me at davisdimension78 at gmail.com. Or, better yet, hit me up on Instagram at davisdimension. So, until next time, I want to thank you guys for checking out the channel. Definitely check out the description below for my five YouTube warriors that I think you guys should definitely follow. And, as always, 
If you're not hitting that red button below, please do so so you can follow us for more videos and hit that little bell so you get all the crazy notifications that will be coming your way in the weeks to come. So until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying keep on busting and I'll catch you on the flip side.